What's going on, folks? Welcome to another video. Uh, yeah, we're live on Facebook, and that's basically all I can manage right now. So this is uh, this is going to be a technical walkthrough for just some of the productions. Apologies, you probably can't see me, but that's the best you're gonna best you're going to get i'm uploading something with my phone that's probably the best you can get at the moment um i need to get some light sorted but anyway uh you can hear me hopefully so yeah we're live on facebook and uh i'm currently sat in a well-known supermarket car park using the wi-fi so that is why and how we're here, how we're able to uh, be here live. Um, and we're also in the middle of a storm, so that's just brilliant. Uh, so you'll have to bear with me. Uh, this is the first in a series of live streams and podcasts. Um, Just talking to the other half of law, project law. Uh, she sent me an email from the distributor. So anyway. Uh, yeah, so let's get into it, people. Uh, so this is the live. Um, feel free to get in on the chat. Uh, let's see if I can see what I can see here. This might be fun. Oh, yeah, I can see. I can see that I'm live. So that's brilliant. Um, just uh, going to send that to a couple of people. Yeah, we're technically, we're going live on Facebook. And uh, hopefully we can connect the Project Law YouTube channel at some point. This is the first time of using StreamYard in a while. Uh, so, yeah, that's uh, what I'm going to do is I, I don't know how well you're going to be able to hear the music. I haven't really figured that one out. We need some kind of like, yeah, it's not going to be, um, you're not going to hear it full quality. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, so bear with me. Uh, we'll get into it in a minute. Hopefully we get at least one person watching. Uh, if not, I will be uploading this to the Project Law. YouTube channel. Uh, so I am one half of Project Law, aka Nick Reflex, aka Code Num Code Name Love One. And Project Law is uh, a duo. Me and myself and my partner created back in. Uh, I'm going to say September. Was it July? July, August, August. I I don't know. August, September 2023, we created the first track together. I've been recording myself for a couple of um, decades, 25 years, as an artist, producer, label owner. And so my partner, Laurie, came over and we decided to start this outfit. And we're now on our 12th release. We just put out our 12th, uh, sorry, 
law 1111 law 0 011 law 11 catalog number is our first album which is all the tracks we've recorded to date title track off each each single and uh, we're going to be doing a podcast very shortly and so this is just a little live stream and i just wanted to see if i can share my screen with you which i know i can and then okay yeah hopefully you can now see my my uh my screen so let us open up studio one this is what i'm using have been using for the last four years i started out using fruity loops and started out using fruity loops in 1996 97 something like that and then i started using well i've always used so i was using fruit loops alongside cubase i was using cubase 3.5 or something like that back in the day uh, i'm just gonna pl i'm gonna open up the project for the latest um typical isn't it I'm just going to run through some of the technical things. Right. Okay, that is loaded up. So this is the latest drum and bass track we made. Literally, this was my... ...made yesterday. I'll be able to play it. It looks like the CPU is maxing out down here. <laughs> It, it's, uh, it's got a lot of Waves plugins on. Let's see what it looks like. You can see my full screen and you can see Studio One. So that's good. Um, like I said, I, I haven't tested the audio. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear it. So I'll just run through how I started the track, what's in it, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So let's start with the drum. I don't know if you can, I don't know if you can hear that really. So basically what that is, is two, two drum loops. Um, I'm not going to give you all the fucking details of what drum loops, blah, 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 if, unless you can read them. But it's, it's two drum loops, and I process that into a drum bus, and I can show you the drum bus right now. So that's going through that, those two drum loops. We're going into bus three, and here, people, is my drum bus. I don't know if you can see that. So on the drum bus, we've got running... A whole load of waves plugins some of them i've actually never used before uh so i'll just look at the i'll just look i'll just read you out the drum sequence of these plugins so the first one we've got the v comp by waves so i've literally all i've done is i've dragged two drum loops into the um Two drum loops into uh, into PreSonus Studio One. I've stretched them to 172 BPM. That is the tempo down here. And I opened up VComp. I open up a drum bus and I run both. both both the loops through the drum bus. Uh, so we've actually got a legit copy, a legit copy of Waves Horizon Bundle. 
we managed to get it for two hundred and fifty dollars, which is the most I've ever played gold. Okay. So the drum bus. So as you can see, I've gone to preset and I've selected drum squish two. Just to stand. In my drum bus then i'm running it to another compressor the absolutely kill processing but i'll just talk you through the, the the uh the project because i don't know if you can hear the audio and the cpu is, is is maxing out it doesn't like you know i need a fast computer basically so i'll just have to talk you through it rather than I'm thinking about warm, crunchy. So we've got the V comp, the CLA seventy six number two. Then we, then so after the H comp, I just chose drums heavy preset, I tweaked it a little bit, uh, and then we're going into the Maserati group plugin. Now this is great for. mastering but it's also good for processing your drums guitars keys but tweak all the plugins right so so yeah so we've got basically four compressors running there and then i'm using this thing smack attack stereo now to be honest i don't even know what it is There's a preset called Excitement for. Then I'm going to chuck a bit of um, limiting on it, the L316 stereo limiter, and I put that to enhance. So actually a mastering setting, I believe. I brought the threshold down, and just a little bit of EQ there. As you can see, there is. I didn't. add here so that's my drums bus yeah and what i then did was i bounced that those two two drum loops there were two right into this one this one drum loop here right, and that's what you can see right there that is it that's processed and the reason i did that is to save on the cpu because i've got all these plugins running it's like no i need to bounce that down so that's what i did um it's not ideal it'd be great to have all the plugins running at live but you know i need a fat fat processor to do that and this we're running a sort of an old school macbook 2017 2016. so that's what i did i turned the master bus off which i'll get to in a minute and i just processed it bounced it down here you go that is what you can hear maybe that's glitching out because of the cpu i'm running live on the internet and everything else everything so i'll just show you just to prove what i'm not i'm not talking absolute nonsense these are here we go if i can get it open that's it oh man why is it doing that
What the? It won't let me open the fucking thing. Holy shit. Right, <laughs> there we go. I've squeezed those open. I made them small for a reason. Oh my god, why is that doing that? That is fucking some annoying shit. See, this is the frustration. This is a test, so I don't know if you can hear me. Um, like I said, uh, I'm back live streaming on Facebook, and yeah, okay, that's come back. That is fucking annoying. So I was showing you something. Ay, 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 ay. So that's already where StreamYard and the um, public internet is fucked up. It's already cut my stream off. I was 20 minutes into that, and it's already fucked up. There you go. Okay, so you should now see back online. I don't know what happened there, mate. I probably need to be on a different Wi-Fi connection. Um, we'll see what happens, see if it works. So, yeah, you can see uh, Studio One back up. It's back up and running. So hopefully I haven't lost that 20 minutes. It has saved somewhere. Um, but sake. That would be very annoying. Uh, I'll carry on where I left off because I can't start again. I'm a stronger connection and I'm going to have to, yeah. 
So that's why we're doing tests. Anyway, back to processing. So here we go. Here's my master bus. I've already told you I've got the H comp first thing on the mastering setting. That's about the T Rax plugin, which I like. This gives you a reference, so you can pull a, pull a reference track it, pull a reference track into here. And I've been using a noisier track actually, so I'll find that. Uh, oh, oh, I won't find that. Forget that. I'll, I'll do that a separate video on that. And then so. I'll... It'll be a boost at four thousand. It's all been cut off, low end and high end. Performance monitor, look, yeah, 62%. That's not good, man, what the fuck? So that's like all these plugins. This is why bouncing stuff down is good, so you can process stuff. It means, obviously, you can't keep tweaking it. Once it's bounced down and processed, yeah, my CPU is absolutely maxing out. Um, no. I'm just using classic. Clipper of a ultra maximized stereo limiter, but just a little bit shaved off. Okay. Just so just running through some of that's the master bus setup. Yeah. And then once I've got the fat drum loop running, It sounds absolutely terrible, and it, but it doesn't. It sounds absolutely banging, but it's glitching out. I wonder if I quit that, that will help. So obviously, oh man, yeah, this is not going brilliantly because it's glitching out on my CPU and you probably can't hear playback at all or maybe it's very quiet. I'm not sure. I'll have to listen back to the recording. So I'll just run through what else we've got going on here. So, so to my drum loop that I processed there, which is the two drum loops I just showed you. But then... We, we need a bass line, yeah? So drum and bass, yeah? And what I've got running here is Vital. And um, we just chose a preset there, NLM 808. And I'll show you the effects. I think I, where is it? Hmm. Yeah, I've got a little bit of a, I just took the high pass. There you go. I'm going to turn this engine off now for a sec. Took the high uh, high cut or whatever it is. Uh, you know, basically, it's just playing all the lows. So that's nice and subby. See if it plays on its own. I don't know whether you'll hear it or not. Who knows? There's the MIDI pattern. And then, yeah, and so we got the sub, 
we've got the drum drum loop playing there and then we just this is just literally a loop i found from a free a free sample pack i'm not going to say who it is you can probably read it I don't know if you can hear that beeping in the background. Fuck me. This is not going brilliantly, is it? Fuck. This is this is how you know you're live. Fuck's sake, dude. I'm going to have to start the fucking engine again. You know, this is basically the perils of off-grid producing. You know, when you're living on the road, mate, using public Wi-Fi and whatnot, it's how you fucking have to cope. Um, but we do it. <laughs> we do a great job. Mm. Show me a little swig of oat milk, chocolate oat milk, fucking good stuff. Oh yeah, right. So we got a little melody, melody loop there. Um, and then the next important thing is we've got a contact open. And an inter contact are chucked in sample. You can see it's cymatics laser breakdown. And I just wanted one stab from it. So that's all I did. Uh, there's, I so soloed the stab. I, I don't know if you can hear that. I do like contact though. It's very good. And then I've got another one. I think I've stole this from a sample pack another sample pack uh let's have a listen to that yeah i don't know if you can hear it mate um maybe i need to it's really bad maybe i need to actually put the earphone next to the mic right yeah that's that's not gonna work anyway I need to figure this out. I think I need a sound card for you to actually hear the audio coming out the laptop. If anyone can give me any tips, that'd be great for a live stream. And then third sample we got into contact is this. So there we go. Three different... Oh my God, what's going on here? Don't tell me it's just crashed. No, good, it hasn't. Fuck's sake. Look, oh, mate, what the fuck? Go away. Oh, shit, what have I done? Fucking flash. Why is flash... Oh, my God. I'm not sure what's going on here. Right, okay, I've got that open still. Brilliant. Oh, man. Okay, we're still live. Good. Yeah, you probably can't hear a single thing, but um, at least I'm showing you the screen. You can see that. Uh, and then we've got this sample, which I just showed you. And all I'm doing there is, I can show you, I'm automating some automation there on a couple of knobs inside of contact. And you can probably see it if I open it. There you go. It's the this one frequency. There you go. You can see it moving. You can see that moving, right? And then I'm also automating the wet signal on the reverb, so I'm boosting the bit of reverb there. So there you go. Little trick for you. And then down here we've got all kinds of different sounds and bits and bobs i've just placed in audios so got a hi-hat here and then down here 
is some vocals we recorded for a previous track and i've just thrown them in literally i've done nothing to them i'll just show you what i'm using on the vocal here i've already processed some of it but just chuck a cla 2a compressor on there on the vox setting then my favorite here valhalla free reverb and delay which is just brilliant sounds great makes everything sound big and then the fab filter i've done a, a low cut or whatever it is it's a high cut i can't remember low cut yeah cutting the lows off there you go 381 hertz on the vocal i don't want any lows and that's it that is a quick little run through um and there you go and, and i wish i could play the actual song but uh i can't play it through pre-sona so i can play you a bounce down version yeah look at that man it's fucking maxing that maxing out maxing out big time um so there we go there is a little insight into how we've created a drum and bass track which we're going to be releasing in the next couple of weeks on an ep law 12 law 012 um and i'm gonna have to figure out how to actually get the audio playing for you guys without it glitching out but um so there you go so basically that is yeah i don't know oh shit, didn't want to do that right there you go get rid of that um so i'll quickly talk about that so i've showed you the, the project so now what i've done so all i've done there was i'm finished with the track and i'm like yeah that's banging that's a, right that's good to go so what i'll do then is i'll bounce it down like i said i've shown you the um the effects stage here and in pre in studio one i'm sure in the other doors as well which i've never really figured out what you can actually do is store the effects chain so that's brilliant so when you're working on the next song you just load up the previous master bus it's just so handy I, I, as you can see i've got a couple saved here i've got a dn dmb drums bus master bus you know for different types of songs dmb yeah so anyway what i've done there is i'll bounce it down go song export export mix down and then i'll bounce it down 24 bit 96 kilohertz yeah there you go the song's called human emotion love version three so i bounce that down right and then what we'll do here is ne then you're ready to master now close that no don't want to save that so what i've been doing for mastering now now we've got the waves plugins to master is this i'll show you and typical it won't fucking play will it i'm gonna have to drag it in oh yeah 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 i know where it is it's down here oh for fuck's sake why is it in that fucking oh motherfucker law seven seven Law seven seven right twelve right. I'm just going to drag that back in and throw it in. There we go. That is basically the track. Oh, well, I'm not sure actually. What's going on there? Oh, for fuck's sake! Right, yeah, no, it's this one okay version three i was like i remember i added a little bit of an intro there i doubled it up a bit so it's not going to glitch out well, it looks like it is glitching out doesn't it okay obviously you bounced it all down and i've not got so many plugins running i've still got i'll show you what i'm doing now so that's the whole track And let's go over to our master bus so that's the important bit 
this is and now i'm in the mastering stage so what we got here again and i'll switch it up a little bit is i'm using this v-comp and i haven't haven't used it so much but i'm quite liking it it's actually modeled on some hardware most of the waste plugins are and i put it on the mastering setting turn the input right down outputs on four and a half db inputs on minus 16 and two to one ratio so first of all the whole track's going through it's, bear in mind it's already got limiting it's already got compression and now i'm just making it a little bit louder squashing it some more just a little bit i want it as loud as possible and v comp stereo so first we've got the v comp stereo then we got the kramer so the kramer is again i put it on the mastering setting and i've chose clean and open there's a couple of different settings there you can use this for vocals bass acoustic guitar it's basically tape so what it's doing it's modeled on tape and it gives you like tape compression it also gives you this sort of hiss which is also modeled from the power unit for the actual um hardware version of it whatever it was modeled on i'm not not entirely sure kramer master tape but it gives it this warm analogy feel so next up we've got this now what we got here is in there right i've got a song that i like that sounds fat and i'm using noisia sync hole all right and then what we go we go over here you then you get it to learn the you know it learns the fucking spectral thing here and then you click this one and it learns your track which is there over here my track and then you get it to match and you can see i've only put 23 percent match and 52 percent level matching so that's sort of it gives it this little bit of a boost then we're going to, to an eq again I pretty much use the same sort of settings. I just I didn't want too much bass. It's well bassy anyway. 79 hertz, little boost there. It's like 0.6 dB boost. Then again, my last stage on the master bus, which is I'm using this all the time at the moment. It seems to work. First, I'll put it into a clipper. It's a little trick I think I learned off Urban Dub. Shout out to him, putting out some great tutorials um urban dub and he was like yeah run everything run run your master bus put a clipper on there so okay i do and it sounds good just gentle gentle clipping uh i'll show you as you can see it's not even hitting minus one So what I have noticed is obviously my CPU is not that great. So when I put bring up the um, visual of the plugin, it seems to glitch the fuck out. I do the settings, I close it, and it seems to play fine. I don't know what, how much of that you can hear or whatever, but obviously it sounds way better through my headphones than it does through your speakers, probably. And you know, I'll, when the track's out, I'll put a tra I'll put a link to the actual finished song in the description, so you can go and stream it on Spotify, go and purchase it on our Bandcamp. I'll put all the links in the description anyway for all our previous work. And then, obviously, I'll show you the last thing. So, why is that doing that? Fucking ear coat. Ear, my earphone keeps falling out. Um, right. 
So we've got the classic clipper, just taking off those little, those transients, the high bits. And then I'm using this, which is quite cool. It is the L316 multi maximizer, 24 bit. And I'm not really sure what this bit does. It's kind of like EQ. Um, it, it priority it tells you which bit to prioritize limiting i guess it's a multi-band limiter is it something like that i'll have to research that some more and then i've just yeah so i don't know if you can see that but it's only going down to sort of the attenuation is like minus three So yeah, it's really annoying, it's glitching. It's probably because it's on the internet and everything. But uh, so there you go, that's the final master. So all I've done there is, you can see the track, look, it's it's huge, as in it's loud, loud, loud AF. Uh, yeah. How do I make that bigger? Oh, this is fucking annoying. Why does it do that? Goodness sake, oh, that's weird. Wrong one. Oh, man. Yeah, you get the picture, right? Why the fuck? I need to get my mouse, really. It's more accurate. There you go. You can see. You can even see some of the transients have already been sliced off the top. It's what you want. For a drum and bass track, anyway. You want it to be like boxing out like that punch 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 you can see the kick snare kick snare you see them you can see them mate you can quite clearly see them uh obviously when i zoom in there you go look kick snare kick snare kick snare uh and then obviously when you zoom back in it just looks like a big black box so that's how your tracks want to look, mate. When you bounce it down on the first bounce, you could you could even bring it down less, less compression, less limiting, and then use that, you know, leave that for the mastering if you want it. That's probably the best way to do it. But um, all inside the box, I've used studio. I've had studios in the past. I've had Mackie desks, outboard compressors. Emu samplers, you know, but I'm doing everything in the box. It's just quick, and you know I'm happy with the sound I'm getting. These these Waves plugins are next level, mate. Whether you get the UAD or the Waves, I advise you to get them. You know they're the analog modelled, and it will take your sound to the next level, really, if you know how to do it properly. Uh. I missed out quite a lot. I, I didn't show you the bass. I think I just put a compressor on the bass. Whatever. So there you go. That is the first technical um, studio session walkthrough, basically. Off-grid style -y. Uh And hopefully you've gained something out of that. There should be some more coming in the same sort of style. Hopefully, the more I do like this, the better I'll get at it. And I need to get myself an LED light so you can actually see my face. Because um, I don't think you can see. My face at the moment, but because I'm in the pit. But I do know you can hit anyway. Right, so that's Project Law signing out, mate. Hope you've enjoyed it. We're going to be doing um, a podcast in the next few days, me and me and the other half of Project Law, my partner, Laurie, uh, she's over in the States at the moment. And, yeah, we're going to do a podcast to just talk through the music. This is the technical side of it. So you've seen, you know, just one track, that is. Uh, I've got, you know, there's like 20, 30, 20 others I could go into. But I don't want them all glitching out. So... Anyway, I'll stop waffling on, people. That is me signing out. That's the end of the broadcast. And I'm going to see if I can end the stream now. Uh, yeah.
Okay, I'm back in the room. So that was 45 minutes long. Okay, uh, much love, people. If you've got any questions, put them in the comment section. If if you you know, tell us what you want to hear. You want to you want us to talk about certain things. You want us to get a light so you can actually see me, rather than just the uh, crappy car light. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave it there. I've got more work to do. I don't know if you can hear it outside, but it's an absolute fucking storm blowing. Like the third storm in two weeks is just ridiculous. So why not do a little podcast? Anyway, I'm out of here. Take care. Much love. Uh, Project Law signing out.